Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is July 24th, 2017. Taking a look at our solar conditions, our solar wind speeds are sitting at 602.9 kilometers per second with a density of 4.8. Day number six of zero sunspots today. That puts us now at 50 days for the year 2017. Remember, we only had 32 in the entire year of 2016 of days without sunspots. Our KP indices are sitting at three and our 24 hour max is at four. And just wanted to touch base again on the huge CME that we had yesterday. Stereo A actually did observe the intense flash and they are saying that this suggests that it could have been an X-class flare. It does not prove, but they are suggesting that this would have been an X-class flare. Coincidentally, yesterday's far side explosion occurred on the fifth anniversary of another significant far side event, the solar superstorm of July 23rd, 2012. That superstorm, which has been compared to the historic Carrington event of 1859, could have caused widespread power blackouts if not missed our planet sunspot ar2665 will be back on the earth side of the sun a little more than a week from now if the sunspot remains active it could bring a new round of geomagnetic storms and auroras to our planet in early august so we will be keeping an eye on that mari Thanks, Jake. Tropical cyclone activity ramps up six named storms of one expected landfall. Tropical cyclone activity ramped up over the past couple days, and we now have six named storms across the globe, all of them in the Pacific Ocean. On July 22, 2017, we have had eight active tropical storms and depressions across the North Pacific, the most tropical cyclones at one time in the North Pacific since 1974. As of 3 o'clock UTC, on July 24th, there are six named tropical cyclones across the globe. Three in the East Pacific, tropical storms Hillary, Irwin, and Greg. And three in the West Pacific, Typhoon Noru, and tropical storms Sonoka and Kulap. Of these six, only Sonoka is expected to make landfall in central Vietnam sometime after 12 o'clock UTC on July 25th, according to the forecast track. As always, we'll keep you updated on severe weather on GSM. Back to you, Jake. All right, that's going to do it for today, folks. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.